Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we'll be going over what the kerning feature in Silhouette Studio is. As you can see on my monitor, I've already written out the word tall, and I used two different fonts. This is just Arial, and this is Impact. I did two different colors so that I can show you how this works. In your font section, on the bottom, you'll see kerning. By default, it is always off. So the yellow one, I'm going to highlight those, and I'm going to turn the kerning on. And you can see all the letters kind of jumped. This evenly spaced out all of the letters. You can see that it did this, and let me just bring these to the front. When I bring it over to how it was originally typed, and I tried to line it back up. So this is a great option to use if you have letters that are kind of spread out and you want them to all be evenly spaced in a certain script. The best fonts to use for this are obviously thicker ones like Impact. As you can see, there's less of a gap here, even though these are evenly spread out. It can work with some scripts as well, actual script. You'll just have to find one that isn't touching like if I go to use Amelia here and I type out tall the kerning is on but if I turn it off it's still in the same spot so for something like this the kerning isn't going to necessarily work for this type you would actually go to your character spacing and lower that or make it higher depending on if you wanted it to touch or not Typically with the script, you want them to touch so that you can weld them. So you'd want that spacing to be less. And then if you still wanted that T and that A to be closer, you would have to ungroup and then move one of them over to the other side. And then you can just select them all and right click to weld. The T and the A aren't touching, so they're not going to weld. So that makes them two different items. So you would want to group them so that they can move together. And I'll just color that in so it's easy for you to see. But yeah, the kerning will work with some actual script text. You'll just have to find one that actually works with it. But the character spacing is a great little trick to help with the actual script. But, but your regular fonts should always work with the kerning. And again, the best fonts to use for the kerning will be your thicker fonts as I used impact here and you can see the spacing is looks a lot nicer to the eye than the Arial spacing. Anyway guys that's just a quick tutorial on kerning. I hope that helps. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to answer those right away. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my page. If you hit little crafty mama down here she'll help you subscribe even faster. Give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate when you do that. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. Until next time, guys, happy crafting.